The Palms Casino Resort and Spa originally opened in 2001. It closed during COVID and has reopened under new ownership. And we are here along with a number of other people, look at all the cars, to check out the Palms and see what's new, if anything. And the wind is blowing. Well, the casino part of the resort and spa is large, as it always was. When Station Casinos owned the Palms, they put in millions of dollars in renovation. I'm not sure so many more millions have been put in since the new purchase, but I have heard that there are changes in the movie theaters, and I'm interested to see that. The actual owners of the Palms these days is the San Manuel Gaming and Hospitality Authority. Making Palms the first resort in Las Vegas fully owned and operated by a Native American tribe. So let's take a look. Well, I don't remember whether this is old or new, but the restroom signs are very visible. This is the Tim Ho Wan restaurant and the folks inside are specializing in dim sum. It's a beautiful entrance. This is a popular spot, the Sports Book and Lounge, and you can see the screens from your bar stool if you're so inclined, and on the other side of the bar are a bunch of tables so that folks can sit and enjoy and I imagine place their bets. We'll look, look at that. So here we are on the other side and there are not too many people here, but um, William Hill is the operator of the sports book, I gather, and there's plenty to look at. This is the buffet line for the palms and the line is long. It goes on and on and on. And looks like whole families have come here for another look through an empty place. <laughs> we got a wave. So this place is popular and crowded and a lot of the cars in the lot must be represented here. This is the Palms fast food area. You can see we have chronic tacos, Earl of Sandwich, coffee, bean and tea leaf, McDonald's, Panda Express, and if I turn all the way around, I am on my way to the movie theaters. And the movie theaters at the Palms, Brendan, have particularly uh, had a number of first runs in Las Vegas and movie premieres. So we'll take a look. We're not going to see a movie, but we'll take a look. Lots of lights and advertisements as we walk to the movie theater. And most of the time we read that movie theaters make their money with all of the goodies that they sell. And look at this long counter. So I suppose you could buy your entire dinner here. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of artwork here. And I read somewhere where it was called graffiti, but it looks to me like it took an artist or two or seven to do all this artwork. Oh my goodness, very nice. The artwork is all up and down this long hallway and I gather on crowded movie nights if you change your mind about wanting popcorn after you come down the hallway you can even get more popcorn at the end oh my goodness oh look at this guy 
this is worth seeing folks if you come down to the palms take a look at the Brendan theaters well this little guy will make you happy as you are going into the theater great smile the young lady just told me the floor is completely new that looks familiar <laughs> more like uh, us and some of our friends <laughs> Oh, look at the lighting. Woo! So this is going to be our IMAX theater. There are three versions of IMAX. We do carry the second version of IMAX. We're the only theater in Las Vegas with a real IMAX. You can see on the inside. Oh my goodness. Now tell us your name again. Shara. S. H. A. A. R. 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 A. H. H, one of the assistant managers, Shara. She's doing a great job here. Holy Toledo! Mm -hmm. Well, of course, she knows where everything is. Yeah, but then this is like more glow in the dark. Um, we're working to do all of this. Oh, so this part of the Brendan lobby will become a VIP area with couches, etc. But in the meantime, there are TV screens and you can watch your favorite sports while waiting to go to the movie. If you want to gamble at the Palms, you will want to have a card that you put in the machine that lets the um, authorities know that you have been here and you have played. The reward center is where you get that card. And here is the card, the lowest, the lowest level card, but we are told if you gamble at another casino and bring in a high level card, I think they will match the card uh, initially. Anyway, this is my new Palms gambling card. This is high limit slots. I just played low limit slots, and the only good thing is that they dispensed coins and not a piece of paper for the change when you cash out. There's nobody here at the moment, but if you have a lot of money and you like slots, you can come to the pound. I'm not sure what's behind the sign here, but it says ballrooms and I believe them. The concert theater is here and I have been in that theater. It's big and interesting and we'll have to see who they book to fill the room. And when they book, the box office is right next to the theater. A great message, and this is where folks check in to stay at the Palms. Uh, rooms on a slow week may start at $69, and if you're here on New Year's Eve, that same room may be $250. Looks like they could uh, accommodate you right now. Stop the young lady who was wearing big cards that said Club Serrano and I said what is Club Serrano? She said that's the name of the Palms reward uh, card, Club Serrano. Okay, okay. Now we're here <laughs> on this hallway which I think is, we'll see, we'll go down but look at that restroom sign. You can't miss them here at the Palms. The name of this store is SIF, Stuff I Forgot. So, if you forgot your hat and you forgot a t-shirt, this is Stuff I Forgot and they have um, soda and candy bars, etc. We just saw one of those big signs about restroom. And... This is pretty and it's being tended to right now. <clears throat> and it's big. Wow. <clears throat> Stuff for sale and the rest. Room. I love buffalo machines and they have plenty of them here at the Palm. The Serrano Vista Cafe, quite nice kind of subdued and quiet. Examples of food in the window. Very pretty. Not too crowded at the moment. This is my kind of place. The 
across from the cafe is this huge wall of decoration and one of the ladies in the area said that last night a Spanish group came and sang and entertained here against the wall. So that's what the wall may be for. The spa is in the name, of the official name of the Palms Hotel, Casino and Spa. And here is the entrance. I don't think I'll go in, but uh, if you need a massage, this is the place. I think the drawing on the other side of this big, long building uh, is part of Green Street. And one of the signs here says Green Street Kitchen. And the other one says Green Street Test Kitchen. We walk into Green Street and we see video games in the lobby. I'll be darned. More of these drawings. Holy Toledo. Look at this. Wow. Talk about drawings and And here's the interior. We got some more information. We are in Green Street. There is, was a three-day Cinco de Mayo celebration here. And for $45, you get your choice of meal. This particular restaurant has not opened yet, but the Cinco de Mayo did happen. Beautiful, interesting place. Next to Cinco de Mayo is pizza. This is the VIP lounge, which happens to be empty at the moment, but would be filled with folks who have the... You guys want to come in and try something? I'll invite you in if you'd like. <laughs> well, we might come in. <laughs> well, come here if you want to try it. Sure. Hang on. We've, we've been invited in, but uh, anyway, we were... This gentleman explained to us that... Not everybody has to be a VIP from here because there is tier matching when you apply for a card. If you've got a big high card in another casino, the tier is matched. You can come in here and have a drink and sit down. And now he is inviting us in. We were able to get out to the pool area. Gorgeous. Viviana opened the door for us, but she came with us to make sure we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful area. And I know they have entertainment out here from time to time, too. Thank Matt and Viviana for treating us like real VIPs in this room. And uh, we had a great time and great food, and we got to look at the pool. So what else could we ask? One of the best aspects of the Palms is a visit to the Ghost Bar, which is high up. You go through here and then the elevators, etc. Ghost Bar will not open till September, but if you come to the Palms after <laughs> that time when the Ghost Bar is open, do visit it. It's a beautiful view of the Las Vegas Strip area. Guess what? Well, visitors in the future are going to have to find out about this. It's called the Shag Store. Coming soon interesting uh, name and there are paintings on the wall in there and looks like kind of totem pole art so come to the shag store after it is open you know some folks are actually checking in if you like table games there are a lot of them here and they seem to be um, popular I hope somebody is winning something. This may be considered the Palm's main entrance, and if you take a taxi, this is probably where you'll be let off. And immediately when you come in, you are going to face a beautiful bar. And a couple of folks are there already. And look at that big six machine, wow. Good luck, good luck.
And my favorite game when I was a Las Vegas visitor was craps. I don't play it now, but uh, they do have craps tables here at the bomb. We are on our way out the door and we pass by Mabel's Barbecue and look at the crowd here. We had a great time at the Palms. In particular, we loved looking at the artwork at the Brendan Theaters and suggest if you have visitors coming to town, bring them down and look at the artwork. And if you can see a movie and buy some $8.50 popcorn, the Brendan folks will love you as well. See you soon.